the Gadget Show with me, Craig Charles, and this trio of Gadget Grandmasters. Three, oh, two, oh, where's it gone? One, kill it, kill it, let's go. This is the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> and it is the most hotly anticipated game console release of the year. This annual shindig attracts industry buyers from all over the world, and the odd life-size cartoon character. It links up to an app on a tablet. It's aimed at quite young children to help them learn to read and write. So you find your wooden block, you stick it, you stick it on the iPad, and um, it phonetically reads out the word. Prepare to be enlightened uh, as we're joined once again by our resident tech guru, Georgie Barrett. Let me show you the first one. It's called Wakey, and it basically connects with other people around the world. So you get a phone call to wake you up. Should, should we give it a go? Yeah, let's do it. OK. Georgie, how important has technology been to Team GB in this Olympics? I think it's been really important. It's enabled them to, like, fine-tune their training programmes and give them insight into their bodies more so than ever before. What is it? What is Pokemon Go? <laughs> OK, so it's an augmented reality mobile game. And it's basically like a real-life treasure hunt. Um, you have to go out and catch as many Pokemon as possible. But instead of doing it in the virtual world, you have to go out and find them in the real world. The UK has spent some £50 million on developing surveillance drones. Drone squadrons are set to be an extension of police intelligence, response units and street presence. <laughs> this is the ultimate of big boy toys. Oh, I've only got little legs, remember? Oh, as long as they don't score now. Oh, like that. We don't want that. We've just arrived at the shopping mall and it's really cold and empty in here and the best case scenario is that tomorrow morning I will still be here after having been in a virtual reality headset for over 25 hours. This at the moment is like incomprehensible to me. to prove that I did it. No. Oh, it's the official guy in the blazer. Are you going to keep that or can we stick it on our wall? Oh, absolutely, on the wall. I want to take pride of place in here. Right. This little thing, I'm really attached to. It's the first thing I look at when I wake up, when I go up the tube. It's incredibly important for my social and work life. Yeah, I'm really going to miss it. The Sony Xperia XZ is out in October. Um, having said that, if you want to get hold of the compact version, that will be out next week. <laughs> That felt weak, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you look good in the glasses. I know, should I take them off? <laughs> no, I'll keep them on. <laughs> Someone says Craig Charles, I automatically think of Shakira, hips don't lie. <laughs> oh, hips don't lie. What are you up to this week? So this week I'm back with our very terrible but lovely football team, Monkey Tree FC. Um, and this week I'm gonna try and be given gadgets that will improve their football skills. Pretty fundamental. Well, what an emotional day it's been. It's been Bastille. I'm Georgie, and I've been reporting for HP Connected Music. <laughs>